Thank you. Um, I guess I'll start by just giving a little bit of context about the project. Um, this is a project that began actually last year in October, and yeah. it's a project we developed at school during our masters. There's actually four people in the group. It's Matt, myself, and two others who actually couldn't make it today. But we began this project as an experimental research project, and we weren't actually aiming to develop a conductive ink when we started. It really began as an exploration into technology and the body and the way we interact with all the devices around us. And we became very interested in how there's this trend for miniaturization in technology and for implants. And yet, nobody focuses so much on the way we actually interact with these interfaces and making them more sensual or elegant or, um, I guess, natural to the way humans actually behave. And so we began to focus on the skin as a surface to work on because we were looking at wearable technology and implants again. And we wanted something that was in between that wouldn't be as invasive as an implant or as static as, say, a garment. We wanted it to be a soft technology that you could change and manipulate and wipe off and then reapply in a new way. Um, and I guess it's important to note that none of us are actually electronic engineers or material scientists. We all mostly come from design backgrounds and we started this development process basically through lots of research into existing materials and into cosmetics and food additives and conductive anythings that we could find and we just played with our skin and put it on and tested and tested until we refined the material to what we have today. And so Matt's gonna explain a bit more about what we're actually doing in this space. Okay, so um, I guess the, just to point it out, um, we'd love it afterwards, after all the presentations are finished, if you guys wanted to come and play with it a bit. Um, that's the material in a liquid form. It just looks like a paint or an ink. Um, as Isabel said, I mean, we make this in our kitchen right now, um, and we have kind of a, a long history of, well, a year-long history of, of many versions of this, so come and play with us when we're done. Um, what we're gonna do today is a fairly simple demonstration. There's these pads on the floor. Each one of these pads is painted with the ink. It's just a piece of foam with the ink on it. It basically becomes an electrode, and then um, we're going to connect between the electrodes using kind of uh, turning two, two of our dancers into giant wires, basically. Um, so the, the interest that we have in this kind of interaction is just that you get different effects as you um, create different circuitry. So they're going to have a little play out here doing that. And then hopefully we'll, we'll try something a little more experimental, which is that the ink has a, a value as a variable resistor as well, or as a potentiometer. So we'll try and demonstrate that. Um, so bear with us, we hope you enjoy it, and uh, then come up and paint yourselves up and we can play with it.
Okay, so we'll explain what's going on. Basically, um, and you know, as Lucy said, this what's great about this is that this is a forum forum for us to kind of um, try to push the material a bit more, especially with lots of people watching, which is great. Um, what we're trying to do is change the amount of resistance that's going between these two pads, and what they're doing is is kind of decreasing the distance between the pads, or increasing the distance. And in theory, it should be kind of subtly changing the pitch of this. Um, I'm going to see if I can ampl amplify the effect a bit. Um, one of the things we deal with in this project is working directly on the body, um, which is extremely difficult uh, because I guess we didn't anticipate that we would be uh, all the problems that come with working on a material that sweats and stretches and breathes and changes and everyone, you know, these two are like have very nice, very moist, very well kind of taken care of skin. We find some people have skin that's really dry and it soaks the ink in like a piece of paper. But I guess the important thing about that for us is that all of this development work means that it's really stable off of the body as well. Um, so now we're beginning to silk screen the ink and we're working on printing the ink and other kind of more commercially appropriate uh, and uh, I should say maybe small-scale appropriate methods uh, for prototyping at home as well. So, yeah, I guess that's about it. Also, thank you, Jan and Annemie, for the performance. And um, it's open for everyone to try out later on, I guess. Um, <coughs> now, um, I was thinking, because this is, the, this is the night of intimate interfaces, uh, I presume that many people have proposed various types of intimate scenarios with this uh, paint. Uh, I mean, uh, I don't know if people saw this here, but you had this collaboration with Calvin Harris, right? The, yeah. the human synthesizer, which was also kind of sexually provoking. Yeah. Are there other scenarios that, that people have kind of brought to you or proposed to you for, for use of this? Well, I mean, I think what, what we really um, like about it is that you really do wear it, um, but you also remove it. I mean, it's, it's water soluble, so anybody who puts it on, you just wash it off. Um, and so that allows for a really intense level of play. Uh, you can get really dirty and you can like really cover yourself in it. And so we've had a lot of people who kind of imagine group scenarios, like where you get lots of people involved. They say, oh, let's you know paint 100 people with it and see if we can make a giant kind of human coil to generate some sort of, you know, uh, some sort of power or do something like that. And I guess it, that's, the more people you add to this, the more interesting it becomes. Um, in that collaboration, we were working, I think, with 26 people. And so, you know, you have 26 people all forced to kind of examine each other's bodies and become very close and really look at um, their movement and, uh, and at their skin. So it's, it's always, when we're using it on the body, it's always really close and honest and intimate. Uh, we've also had a lot of people interested in actually the idea of tattooing it into, even though it was, for us, it was designed importantly as something that would be temporary. We have had many people ask us whether it would be possible to tattoo it into your skin to therefore have permanent things around, working around it. And so that's another way, I guess. And is it possible? Uh, we haven't tested it, but there's no actually indication that it shouldn't be perfectly <laughs> possible. Maybe Lucy wants to try it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's another definite, um, area that we've thought about and people have mentioned as well. Are there any more questions from the audience? Over where? Can I see a hand? Oh, over there? Yeah, hi. I read years ago actually when Bluetooth was just coming out, I was reading about paint that you could, you know, just swipe on a wall and it would be wireless and you could reach 
you know, you could watch videos on it or something like that. Could you actually get uh, get something like wireless, a wireless connection with with this, so that you could maybe transfer like the emotions that we talked about before, uh, these kind of things? Well, I guess we always say that um, that the ink is actually is fundamentally a really simple material, right? I mean, it's basically a wire um, or a you know a variable resistor. I mean, with the benefit that it's totally non-toxic. I mean, you can eat it. Everything in it has been approved by somebody, uh, by you know, by an agency to be. <laughs> By somebody, Isabel. No, um, by an agency to be uh, a food, either a food product or a cosmetic. So the key is that's it's a simple material that's really you know safe in its um, components, and the complexity needs to lie in its use. So we've looked at using it to print uh, temporary RFID tags, right? And the example there is the the ink just acts as the coil, right? And the RF the the the, the memory is something separate. So you could use it on the built infrastructure. You could paint it on your wall and you know, have it either work as an antenna or to transfer signals to something more complicated like an LCD um, you know, or an, an EL display or something like that. Um, but the ink itself doesn't have a ton of kind of capacity for information storage, I guess. I, I have one more question. Uh, I remember that. Uh, Maybe it still is actually that flexible circuits were a big thing in wearable technology. I think yeah. both of you are also kind of familiar in that in that scene. Uh, but the main issue, if I remember well, is uh, was the washability of, yeah. of things. Do you have like a non-washable version as well? Well, it's it, yeah. It's it, we've had two strange kind of side effects of our process, which is that we we didn't intend to make the ink the color that it is. We just continue to refine the formula, and then we're satisfied when it has this kind of dark black sheen to it. Um, we have a lot of people ask, could we change the color? And the other question is, could we make it washable? Um, but we designed it to be uh, water soluble, because we, that was a part of the kind of narrative of the project, is as soon as you want to disengage, you just wash it off, and that's it, you're finished. Um, but considering the amount of interest we've had, uh, we started to look at that uh, because a lot of this is based in, a lot of our technology is based in uh, candy making. And candy makers are very good at manipulating the kind of speed at which candy dissolves. And it sounds really simple, but actually it's incredibly difficult to make good candy. And we found the same thing with this. So there is kind of an area there um, to make it more washable, but that's or certainly not, uh, not possible yet. I guess the thing to mention is also that we graduated in July, and we actually picked up the project then, and so we haven't had we haven't done that much, you know, more science on it since we actually finished. So now is when we're actually starting to take it forth and to try and actually do these tests, like maybe the possible tattooing or making it waterproof or changing the color or other aspects of it. So basically, if uh, if uh, people around here have interesting scenarios for you, then they should come back here and tell you about them. If there's no more urgent questions right now, then I would like to close this uh, demonstration and go to the next one. Thank you very much. Also, thank you, Jan-Alemoni.